In this video, we'll see how to change the sheet to tab color using macros into your VBA editor. So what I mean to say is sheet to tab color. So if you see, these are the names of the sheet and these are the different tabs. If I want to change the color of any sheet, I have to just right click on that particular place. Let's say if I want to change sheet four color, right click on that sheet four tab, select the tab color and you can choose any color, whatever you want. Let's say if I want black color, I selected that black color. Okay. So that is how you change it with the help of this. You can call it as Excel itself. If you want to change with the help of macros, how do you do that? So I've written a code at the back end. I'll just show you that code. Okay. I'll go to developer. I'll go to visual basic and these are the sheets. I'll minimize those sheets. The last one, if you see, that's a sheet tab color module. Okay. In this module, I've written the sub procedure. That's a macro given sub procedure that's a tab color if you want to change the name and let's see i've written a code here very simple code just give the name of the sheet give a tab and then color that's it okay you see here sheets and the sheet name details is nothing but a sheet name if i show you the details this is the details this is the name of the sheet i want to change the color of this particular sheet okay so i've said as dot tab dot color because this sheet dot tab dot color and what is the color i want the black color Okay, rest everything I have copy paste here. Okay, sheets, the name of the sheet dot tab dot color VB red. Okay, so there are eight standard colors, black, blue, green, red, white, and then I have cyan and magneta. So total eight standard colors are given. Okay, so this is the simple method. There's one more method if you want to add colors. So you can use instead of this color, use color index. Rest everything is same. If you observe sheets, sheet name dot tab dot color index. Now index will, it will ask you for numbers. It will not ask you for white, blue, green, black, and so on. It will ask you for the numbers 1, 10, 20, 30, and so on. Okay. So numbers are till 56. Color index are only available till 56. After 56, no colors index are available. Right. So these are two methods. Any one you can use. Last one is sheets details dot tab dot color. Now I should give us VB red, VB green, blue, and so on. But I've given us false. False means I don't want any color. It should be default color itself. That's the white color again. Okay. So let us see that if I execute one by one, step by step, observe what will happen for this details sheet tab. Let's see now. Keep the cursor in the macro. Step into, step into. After this sheets details should become as black. Observe here. Okay, it has become as black. Again, if I keep on executing, see the color will keep on changing. Okay, the colors are changing again. Observe here, I'm executing one by one. And the last one, if you see it, I've come to the color index. Now, instead of giving the color, I've come to the color index. Color index equal to one. So usually color index one is for black. Okay, let's see what is exactly 10 for. 10 is for green color. Okay, light green color. And the next one is 20, it stands for the light blue color that's a sky blue color which is given here okay and finally the last sentence if it is executed it will remove all the color it will say as no color itself okay sheet sheets dot tab dot color equal to false if i click on the step into and if you see the color has been gone away totally it has been removed from here i'll just finish this sub procedure click on this close button right i hope you're able to understand how to change the sheet to tab color using macros vba that's all for this video